Welcome to First Person Defender, where good guy role players come face to face with unknown attackers hey, in real world scenarios and fight their way out. Do it now! Each episode of First Person Defender features a situation straight out of real life. Down on the ground now! This is First Person Defender. An angry neighbor complains about the noise of a party. This concealed carry instructor has to determine if he's a threat and then protect others. My name is John and I'm a certified public accountant. I own my own firm and have done that for many years. I've been teaching concealed carry since 2006. And you learn things by teaching that you wouldn't learn just by taking the class yourself. Other than the fact that John is a concealed carry instructor, he sounds like the average person that carries a handgun. He's self-employed, he doesn't work in the firearms field, he tries to keep a gun near him. I carry daily. Uh, I always have uh, a concealed carry gun within reach of me. One of the things I really like about John is, even though he doesn't have formal training, he's seeking it out through the methods and means that he has available to him. He said he likes to read, he likes to get DVDs, and he's trying to do something which is probably a lot more than some people. The scenario we have set up for John today is relatively simple, but it's something that's becoming more common every day. It's going to be that argument in the backyard with the neighbors over whatever. We're gonna have some extras in there, which means there's gonna be extra people mingling around. So he's gonna to have to deal with and be considerate of the safety of not only himself, but the guests that are at his house. When we talk about the four firearm safety rules, number four is be sure of your target, your backstop, and beyond. And I think somehow we're gonna involve that rule in this scenario today. So, John, uh, there's a couple things that you need to know about when we do simunitions force on force training like this, all right? One is, that there should be no intentional headshots, no shots closer than one foot off the muzzle, all right? The other thing is, people that are wearing yellow shirts, the crew and things, those guys are invisible to you, all right? So if they're wearing yellow, they're really not part of the scenario. So try to, your best to disregard them. I know it's hard sometimes. All right, just playing baseball with my son. Get out of here, man. I'm just playing baseball with You've my son. For just so don't long, keep I tell you what. A little bit. You see? You keep know, music, why don't you take it out of here? Magic. Get out of here. Man, get off me! <sighs> Nozzler defense ammunition is loaded up front with the bonded performance line of bonded core defense bullets. Professionals trust their next move to Nozzler defense. Slim concealable and powerful protection. The m and Shield by Smith & Wesson. Confidence? We perfected that years ago. First Person Defender, brought to you by Simunition, Crimson Trace, and Crossbreed Holsters. John gets set up for a backyard barbecue where everyone's having fun. We're gonna have steaks, we're gonna have burgers, leaves, we're gonna have uh, hot dogs. But I tell you what, man, I'm looking forward to football season. It's gonna be fun. Sandy, is John ignoring you? <laughs> Hard to get. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey, no, no, it's just a no. Why, why do you have a gun, on, man? Get on here, boy. I'm just trying to. Get up here. Come on. No, I'm get your neighbor. Here. I'm your neighbor. Look, I was just coming over. Sorry, I was just playing baseball get, with my get son. Get out of here, man. I was just playing baseball with get my son. Just so keep long. the music down a little bit. You see? You, you keep know, the music down you just take a little it out bit, here. man. Just, get out of here. Man, get off me. Stop, stop. Holy cow. Call 911. Call 911. Go inside. Call 911. 
All right, index, index, index. Decock and holster, make that safe in the holster. What just happened? Well, first of all, that they didn't listen to me when I told them to get back up on the porch. Oh, the two guys that were yeah, down here? because I was trying to get everybody behind me. All right, that's good. And Ryan shouldn't have gone in front of me. When he saw me unholster, he should have stayed behind me, but he didn't do it. Apparently, when the bad guy came up, he must have come on pretty strong because you went right to guns. Well, he had the bat in a defensive position. He wasn't just carrying a bat like you would carry a bat if you were carrying a bat. He had it up ready to strike, so that made me think he was going to use it. Really? All right. Well, that's very important. Your perception is really important. Well, the gun the gun came out really fast. So then what were you thinking? Were you actually thinking you were going to shoot him? No, no. The gun came out, but you noticed it was pointed down. Uh-huh. I, I wasn't going to use it unless I had to. OK. And then when did you decide you had to? When he started striking Ryan with the yeah. bat. And that's pretty good, because we already know that baseball bats and, and, and you know objects like that, you could kill somebody very quickly. And I had to make sure there was enough distance between them that I didn't get Ryan while you, I was getting him. You did a good job of putting shots on target. Were you constantly aware of the background then? Well, I was shooting down into the ground, so that, I, there was nothing but the bad guy in front of me. Uh, that was very good. So for the drills today, we're going to be using the Springfield Range Officer Compact in 45. This is a way we can practice a drill like this, kind of economically and, and easy. So we're going to talk about, you know, just getting away from somebody like this. There's our threat downrange. So if I decide that that becomes a threat and I'm standing here talking and Ryan's in my way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear Ryan and I'm going to come out and I'm going to try to get away from him just a little bit as I engage that threat. And if he comes back by me, I may just say, just, just stay back, get behind me. I may do something like this as I engage that threat, just trying to keep them away from me. So I take control of the situation. Anytime, anytime I can put hands on somebody that I'm caring for, it's going to be easier than giving them verbal commands, because what happens when you give them verbal commands? They don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Think about this, how this feels. If we were standing here and all of a sudden I went, oh, geez. And I can drive you like that, but I'm not just going to put my hand on you and I want you out of the way because if something's coming towards me or towards your back, I want to protect you. Okay. Because I, I can, I have that means today. Threat. Good. And recover the holster. All right. Come on back in, let's, let's do it again. And this time, let's kind of move him out of the way and just kind of go right in front of him. Let's put ourselves in between him and that. All right, so breathe. Whew. Ready? Threat, sweep him out of the way, get in between you and him. Coming up, we change the scenario. <laughs> I'm not leaving. This is my house. Go. No. What are you talking about? You make me leave? No. I'm having trouble. Just What's get out of here. Oh, get out of here now. No. Huh? Deep penetration and massive expansion for ultimate stopping power when the stakes are at their highest. That's what you get with Remington Ultimate Defense. I know it makes sense to protect myself. And the confidence the laser gives me makes even more sense. With your handgun and the training to back it up, a laser sight is the most common sense path to protection in a time of crisis. First Person Defender, brought to you by Hi-Viz Shooting Systems. Remington. And Smith & Wesson. To me, I thought John pulled his gun out a little bit early, but I did notice that Barrett was moving pretty fast across the yard. He didn't appear really threatening to me, but it's not my job to view that. That was up to John, and his perception is his reality. 
In my opinion, he had the bat in an offensive manner. Uh, it looked to me like he intended to use the bat. Of course, you can kill somebody with a bat. And as soon as Ryan goes down, he starts stumping him. John just sprung into action, he engaged the threat, and he took him out. It happened pretty fast. It was actually pretty cool. Uh, we uh, recently we were able to book a trip all the way to Montana. No, it's just getting warm. The key is you got to get the steak super hot, get the coal super hot, and just sear everything. Just sear on both sides. So, where did you come up with this story? Just pull this out of the air right now. What is that guy doing here? You don't know him? Pretty cool. Yeah. Well, deal, man. No, I know him. Hey, man. Get the burgers ready. I told you not to be here. Seriously, I told you I wanted you to get out of here. Seriously? Why is he yes, so Yes, I don't know. Last time you were here, you were a problem causer. Hey, look, you've had too much to drink again already. I can see it now. Who cares how much I have to drink? You gotta leave. I'm not leaving. I'm having a good time with my friends here. No, man. Right. No. I'm not leaving, man. You leave. I'm not leaving. This is my house. Go. No. What are you talking you about? You're gonna make me leave? Hey, you made me leave. I brought something with me today. You, you're not going to do anything. Yeah. I brought something with you. What are you talking about? I'm just trying to have a good time, my friend. Just get out of here. No, I'm having, trying to have a good Just time. get out of here. Get out of here now. No, man. You're... Somebody call the cops. He still got a gun. That happened fast. Watch him. All right, index, index, index. Holy cow, man. That happened fast. Yeah, when he showed the gun the first time, though. I saw you reach for it, but you didn't take yours out. You didn't tip your hand. Barrett and Ryan started arguing again, except this time without having Barrett have to enter the yard. So as they're arguing, there's only one way off of that porch. So we kept Big John, the big dog, on the porch behind Ryan this entire time. So as they're arguing, at some point, Barrett flashes a gun like, hey, you wouldn't be so tough, you know, come on down here. Well, John saw that. If he left his in his holster. I was gonna leave mine in my holster because I wasn't gonna escalate it. Right, right. It can't, what, what did, did he draw? I came, I came out beside Ryan because he was the one having the, the altercation with the individual. And when I saw the person raise up his shirt to pull the gun out, I pushed Ryan out of the way, I pulled my gun out, so you re you reached for yours and you started going for yeah, it? Yes, he, he because... came first. All right. No, I definitely came out first. And I shot again, I think, three times. In this scenario, I actually was a controller, but I was also a role player. So I was really watching what was going on, and it was pretty cool. Because John was trying like mad to get off that porch and get around Ryan. And you could see him kind of thinking, but he didn't take his gun out. He didn't go for the gun. He might have put his hand on the gun. He reached for the gun, but he didn't take it out because in his words, he said he didn't want to escalate the situation unnecessarily. John's got a firearms background, but he does not have a training background. So hopefully this is gonna spur in him a desire to get out and spend some time training. Seek out those fun trainings. Force on Force is excellent if you can find it. But there's all kinds of stuff out there. All you gotta do is look. I know now that I need to take the training to another level. I need to go somewhere where I can do repetitions like this. And, and so you know, my next investment won't be a gun, it'll be training. Like everybody else that comes on First Person Defender, there always is nerves. There's nerves, there's you know indecision, just things that people are worried about. And you could see the same thing in John. But as the day went on, and we got through training and got into that second scenario, you could see him calm down. And it was great to see it, because he was able to control himself and he was able to do exactly what he needed to do.